Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today video, we are going to discuss about how we can create a Azure DevOps self-hosted agent on Azure virtual machine using Terraform. And also we will see how we can install a build utility or some kind of software on that machine with the help of Terraform. So let's start. As you can see on this particular diagram, what this is the end user basically, and it's, it is going to create a few configuration file Terraform configuration file and with the help of these files we are going to create a Azure virtual machine and we are going to use that virtual virtual machine as a self host agent and we are going to stabilize the connection between Azure virtual machine and Azure DevOps server. So this is what we are going to achieve on this video. So let's move to the configuration file. So you can see I have here five configuration files, sorry four configuration file and one of the script file. So this, the first one is a provider.tf file. So this file basically, as we know, uh, it's used to stabilize a connection with the Azure cloud. So here I have defined here the provider type because Azure RM because we are going to create our resources on Microsoft Azure cloud. And to stabilize a connection, we need some kind of service principles, ID, secrets, subscription ID, all these things. So those things I have defined here. So the client ID, client secret, tenant ID and subscription ID. The whole purpose of this file is to stabilize a connection with the Azure cloud. <laughs> I'll come to the script file later. Next file we have a terraform.tf var file. So here I have declared all the variables which we are going to use in our main configuration file. So I'm going to use here the few variables location, the source group name, agent VM name, admin username, admin password and virtual machine size. So these are the few things which I have uh, make it as a variable. If you want, you can add more uh, things, more variables declaration on this file. And this file variables.tf. So here I have de declared all the variables which we are going to use in the main, dot, main config file. And the variable values I have declared on the terraform.tf var files. And this is the main configuration file vm.tf. So here I am going to create all the resources which is required. <laughs> so you can see here the first things I have taken here is data source block. So the data source block is helpful when you have something is already on the Azure cloud. You want to retrieve some kind of configuration of or value of those resources in that purpose we use data source block so in my case i have already a resource group and i want to configure this virtual machine or this agent under the particular virtual network so what i have done here let me refresh the window so I have already defined, I've created the resource group here. This is the resource group which I'm going to use. And under this resource group, I have created a virtual network. So I, you can see I have three virtual network here. So I want to configure that virtual machine under this agent hyphen VNet virtual network. So this I have already created. If you want, you can also create these things with the help of Terraform. Now let me go back to my configuration file. So the same thing again in data source block here, I'm going to utilize or we are going to fetch the subnet ID and similarly the VNet ID we are going to fetch with the data source block. Till here, I'm just retrieving the value of the resources which we have already created. The main configuration part start from here, public IP address how we will access the virtual machine we need some kind of public ip address to access that virtual machine so i'm going to create a public ip address for my virtual machine so here i have defined the in the resource block and resource type here we have a azure rm underscore public underscore ip and this, this is the local name of the resource which we are going to create so under this name resource group name location and allocation method I have defined here you can also use instead of dynamic you want static ip addresses of this then you can also use instead of dynamic or uh, static value over here <laughs> now you can see here under resource group i have not defined as a var dot location which i have defined here and instead of i have used data source block here because 
if we want we can also use bar dot resource group name here because we have already declared a variable for resource group so every time or whenever or wherever you require a resource group name you can either use bar dot resource group name or you can utilize the data source block because here what i am doing i am already fetching the resource group name with the help of this data source block that's why i have used here resource group name instead of var dot location i am going to utilize that data source block so you can see data dot resource name this azure rm underscore resource underscore group dot rg underscore devops is a local name and the name of the resource group so in come in all the configuration file i am going to use utilize a data source block under the resource group name okay so we have created a public ip addresses now we need a network interface the network interface cards a virtual network that basically link our virtual machine with the particular virtual network which we are going to utilize so here i'm going to create a virtual network sorry a network interface card so here again i have defined name location resource group and location and the ip configuration like under virtual network under which subnet you want to create a resource so here i am fetching the subnet id so if you can see under this data source block i am going to fetch the subnet id so here i have used the same next we are going to create a security group for that virtual machine not for the virtual machine basically for the virtual network because we want to allow what kind of traffic if you want like on port 80 you want to allow traffic or port 2022 you want to allow traffic so those kind of uh, security things like traffic allow or if you want to if you don't want to allow you can uh, configure that thing with the help of network security group so you can see under this network security group i'm going to create a uh, two rules here the one is i'm going to allow port 22 here if you can see because we want to connect to that virtual machine and if we know by default linux user 22 as a ssh port and next thing i'm going to utilize the port 80 so these like that uh, you can uh, utilize security rule block like if you want to add more uh, security rules so you can utilize that thing next i'm going to associate the network security group here with this, with this resource block and finally we are going to create a virtual machine here so the, this is the few attributes i have taken here if you want you can like there are many attributes you can uh, find out over terraform main uh, documentation page so I, I have taken the few basic things which is required for this particular demo so name resource group name location what kind of size you want for that virtual virtual machine admin username admin password because if you want you can also use the ssh key instead of the password but for this particular demo i have taken the pass password now here is under the source image reference what kind of operating system you want for that virtual machine so for this i have chosen a u12 server as a window sorry uh, virtual machine operating system and the virtual version is the latest and the disk type here i have select like if you want premium or standard so those things you can uh, configure here now you can see again what i am doing here again i have created a one data source block because i want to install and configure that virtual machine as a self-hosted agent so for that we have to connect to the virtual machine and to connect to the virtual machine we would know what's the host name or ip address of that virtual machine so here basically i'm fetching the value of the ip address so i can utilize the ip address under this connection block if you can see under host i have taken this data source block for public ip addresses so i want so i will be known what this is the ip addresses of the virtual machine because vm ip we will get to know as soon as we create the virtual machine so that for that purpose i have using again here a data source block <laughs> now the important part part here this particular resource block is going to utilize for connecting your virtual machine and going to execute the command or script on your virtual machine 
so if you can see this is the inline script here i am using so i have created a script file called script.sh where i have defined all the command which i want or software which i want to install on that particular virtual machine so let me go to my script.sh file now so you can see uh, till here basically what i am going to do i am going to install the docker as build utility on that virtual machine then i am going to install a kubectl utility on that machine till here then i am going to install azure cli on that machine then finally this is the part where i am going to install and configure this virtual machine as a self host agent the first thing what i am i am doing here i am just downloading the agent file so this is the url and i am going to create a directory and under this particular my agent directory i am going to extract the uh, file which we have downloaded and i am going to uh, give the permission on that particular directory here now this under this part we are going to configure our agent so uh, we will see uh, as soon as the execution will be completed we will see all these files under this particular directory so here this is a config.ssh file which we are going to execute to configure our agent so if you, we already know uh, if you want to configure our agent we need few details like url organization url azure devops organization url so this is my organization url of azure devops and how you will authenticate so for that i am going to use public access token pet token so this is the token which i am using to connect to the azure devops and this is the pool default pool under which pool you want that particular uh, agent so i want under default pool and this is the agent name and here i am going to install this particular agent as a service and we are going to start the service so if i go back to my azure devops here so if i go to organization setting uh, under agent pool so i have these many pools what i want to install that machine as an agent under this particular pool default pool if i go to my agents we can see we don't have any agents here now the pet token how this particular pet token how you can create so you can go to your profile here user settings under personal access token sorry i missed it it's not a public access token it's personal access token so from here you can create a new token and you can give any name whatever you like and a permission what all the permission you want to give that particular token so all these things you can uh, use i have already created a agent demo so i'm not going to uh, create again now let me go back to my configuration file so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to put all this configuration file in the github and uh, i'll also mention the link of github in the description so if you want to test from your own you can do that so now let me run those commands sorry execute this con uh, configuration file so the first thing we need to initialize the backend so it can download all the required plugins which is required by the terraform so the first command will be terraform in it so if you can see it is start initializing the backend and it is downloading the required plugins so you can see the dot terraform directory is already created under this we will be having a uh, all these backend like azure rm work this particular things it is already downloaded so now let me clear the screen now i'll run terraform plan command so we can see okay what all the resources it is going to create for us Okay, so it is going to create a six resources as part of uh, this particular configuration file. So this public IP address it will create. Then it is going to create a security group. Uh, then it will create a security group association. Like what all the resource block you have defined here, it is going to create all these things for you. So now let me 
apply this configuration So it is asking for the confirmation and put yes. Now it is going to take a few minutes. So mean meantime, I'll uh, we will wait for a couple of minutes to complete this execution. So now this Terraform apply is completed now here. So we can see here from here it is connected to Azure DevOps and the successfully added the agent here. Now it's testing the agent connection and you can see here the status of the agent is active and running. So let's verify. So I'll go to my Azure DevOps organization settings and we'll go to agent pool and under default we have created the agent. So I'll go to agent. So you can see here AKS agent it's already created and configured and the status is online here so it means it successfully added that virtual machine as an agent now we have installed uh, some kind of build like docker kubectl so we will verify if it is installed those things successfully or not so i log into the virtual machine so this is the public ip address of the virtual machine So let me clear the screen okay so we have we have connected to the virtual machine here so we have installed docker so we will simply type docker here you can see we got all the commands so it means docker is installed successfully let me clear it again uh, we have next installed kubectl so you can see we got all the kubernetes commands so it means a uh, kubectl utility is also uh, installed successfully and last we have installed Azure CLI. So simply I type AZ. See, we, we got all the commands for uh, Azure CLI command utility. So it means all the softwares which we want to install on that virtual machine, it, it is uh, installed successfully now. So that's all uh, for today. If you have any question, uh, you can uh, ask over the comments and the GitHub link I'll mentioned in the description box so if you want you can have a look of this configuration file and script file as well so thank you so much see you in next video